Hey guys, here is a rough outline for the curve of the bowls that I'm going to be using. In fact, let me look at it in a bowl shape as opposed to a dome shape. There we go. That's better. Now it's not upside down, it's right side up. So this is what I'm going to be putting on my, for my islands. It's just a really rough outline and I'm going to try and make it even rougher once I've got it laid out. So let me get back on the server and get to work. Meet you guys there. Hey guys, welcome back to the Geomine server. And I was going to say something, but I can't remember what it was. Oh yeah, um, there is the little 10 block pillar in the center of the big platform. So if you guys check out my illustration from last time, and I'm going to be creating some annotation links. I'm going to start using the annotation links to get around my videos. So I'll be linking my illustration from last time. So if you guys check it out in my previous episode, I uh, drew out my plan in the sky. <laughs> it's really, really, really cool, like, apparently, I guess. <laughs> but, uh, so, what I've got to do next is create a bowl out of endstone. And I'm going to create it using a pattern that I set up in uh, Creative World. So, here is... Um, Here's a clip of what the patterns kind of kind of look like. So check it out. I'll be right back. And based on the drawing of the pattern, I need to start the bowl with seven blocks. So this will be the center, and then I need to go out seven blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six seven. And then I need to do that in every direction. One, two, oops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I'm going to create a circular platform from there. And I will be right back. Okay, there is a seven by seven round circular platform. And the next thing I need to do is uh, go up another a single block all the way around and go out another seven. <laughs> so that's going to be uh, it's going to get a lot bigger from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. And then I have to create a circle from here. One, two, three, four. And then fill it all in with endstone. So I will uh, go ahead and do that. And get back to you guys in a little bit. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. And I'm hoping this is the right kind of angle or arc. But we shall see. If I don't like it, I can just break it. I brought myself a nice efficiency for diamond pickaxe for breaking this stuff because it's really hard stuff. Okay, there is the platform so far. Um, the next few layers are going to be, I believe, five, three, four, three, two, one, <laughs> and so on, so forth. And it'll slowly start to curve up. And uh, I'll go ahead and fill those in and get back to you guys in a little bit. So be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. Took a little break there, but I've been still working on this platform. 
And why do I have these little sticky things out on the side? Is because instead of, or on the next, the next ring is going to be uh, a count of three out from the last ring. So instead of going out three and then trying to figure uh, a curve that goes all the way around to the the next quadrant or quarter over there, um, what I did is I just added three to every one of these points. And then I can just fill those in. And all I have to do now is just figure a curve between here and there. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go up and find the curve for the next the next point. And here's what it looks like inside. So I've got an arc here. Um, let's try a 3, 2, I guess. 1, 2, 3. And then we'll go in 1, and then 1, 2. Oops. Yeah, efficiency really helps with... Uh, I think this may be too much. One, two, three. Yeah. Let's try two. And then we'll just go singles from there. And that doesn't work out either. Hmm. I think that'll work. Okay. I think that's going to fill in most of our curve the way I want it to. At least I hope it is. So we'll just go with that that count. Fill it all in and I will get back to you in a little bit. I think I'm going to continue building until the angle turns to where it's more up than it is out. So I'll get back to you guys probably about half an hour because it's taking longer and longer with each each ring. <laughs> of course it is. Uh, all right, see you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, here I am. Um, the bowl is not yet ready to turn up on the sides, but I am looking out over at these other islands and these little ones and noticing that my bowl is going to turn out pretty pretty symmetrical. It's going to be very, very, very even. And actually what I want is something that looks more like this one over here. Oh boy. Hey, spider. Didn't knock me off. I want it to look a little bit more like this one over there or that big lump over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to alter the shape of it so that it has a lump on one side. So I'm going to do that in the next layer. Um, let's see here. How do I want to go about doing that? Um, the next layer should be about three, I figure. So let's go ahead and Add some doohickeys over here. Um, when I build my glass domes, I usually use uh, dirt on these blocks, but using extra end stone isn't going to be an issue with with this. So I'm not sure what kind of lump I'm going to get, but I'm just going to do it kind of random. 
Um, let's go all the way over to here. And we'll start creating this deformation. And it's just like taking a stencil and say, draw on a piece of paper, um, put down your name, draw your name on a piece of paper, and then draw a line around the outside of your name, and then draw another line around the outside of that, and keep adding, keep adding lines to it until you get this kind of wavy looking pattern around the outside of your name. And that's kind of what I'm trying to do here is create this ring pattern like you see on these other islands. But I'm doing it on a much larger scale. And I'm hoping it turns out all right. So I'm going to continue to work on this uh, deformation here, and I'll get back to you guys in a little while. So don't go anywhere. Have fun. <laughs> See you in a few. Bye-bye. Or no, no. Not, be right back. Okay, guys. There it is. The, uh, the inside of the bowl. And I went ahead and did some uh, some randomizing of it just a little bit to uh, make it turn out a little bit uh, better, I guess. Um, I'm still going to have to do some more on the underside to give it more of a... Uh, looks like it's been ripped out of the end and thrown into the air kind of thing. So chunks floating around here and there. But uh, next, I'm going to take a little boat ride and we're going to look at it from the outside. And then I'm going to end this particular episode. And... Uh, do some more work finishing it up, put a top on it, that kind of stuff. So I'll meet you guys out at the boat. Uh, be right back. Okay, guys, here is a portion of the bowl. Looks very symmetrical, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So I'm going to have to rough it up a little bit here and there. Oh, I do not like this, these boats. <laughs> so I'm going to f work on this the rest of tonight. And in the next episode, you guys will see more... Uh, <laughs> less uniform looking construction I hope so I'm going to have to make a few trips or just replay the videos and say oh I need to I need to fix that spot or something but yeah it looks very very uniform right now so I'll uh I'll get to work on it, and see you guys in the next episode. So, this is One Wolf saying thanks for watching, have a good day, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.